Hi, I'm Amanda Agnew. I am 19 years old. I'm from Long Island, New York, and this is my Who Am I video. Well, if you're going to get to know who I am, I should give you the basics. I am the oldest of two children. I have a younger sister named Allison. She's 15 years old and just started 10th grade. Uh, my parents' names are Bruce and Rita, and we have a cute little suburban home on Walnut Street, and <laughs> We made a joke about it, how we moved from, well, we, I moved from Walnut Street to Walnut Lane. We saw it as like a sign. It was kind of cute. Um, in high school and before I got here, I was very active in different like activities besides music. I danced. I was on student government. I did all of these different things, so many different clubs. I don't want to bore you, but this, Westminster, is a crazy feeling in a crazy place and so many days I wake up here and I'm literally so blessed to be here I couldn't imagine myself going to a different school being a different major doing anything else besides music and becoming an educator growing up I never imagined I'd be a teacher you know when you're little and like K through sixth grade you have to t like tell your teacher oh what do you want to be when you grow up and everyone's idea changed a thousand times. I'm convinced mine changed a thousand and one. Like I went from doctor to physicist to bionuclear engineering, like the farthest thing from teaching, every occupation you can think of entered my mind and I'm here and I realized something. Teaching isn't something you do for yourself. It's, it's what you do for the kids because someone who wants to be a multimillionaire isn't going to go into a profession of teaching because that's not the route you go. But I don't want to be a multimillionaire. I want to influence others. My jobs growing up really pointed me into the direction of teaching and I didn't even realize it. At the age of 13, I became a counselor in training at a summer camp about a half hour away from my house. And it was 40 days, um, Monday through Friday though. Um, around 8 a.m. till 5.30 um, and I relate it to like a student teaching position it's unpaid you're there to learn and educate yourself on how to take care of other people's children and not just take care of them but to follow the rules and guidelines set by your superiors and in addition to like working at the summer camp the last two years I was there and this past summer even though I didn't work there, I was a babysitter slash nanny. All right, so what does a babysitter nanny entail? Obviously we're watching kids, but we know how to interact with different types of kids. Like I know this past summer I worked for five families and it was a total of, I think the highest number of kids I had to watch at once was three, but they were all different types of children. And I remember this one family, um, this woman, Kim, I watched her two twin daughters who were about 15 months old and I would watch also at the same time her three-year-old son who was speech delayed and had special needs so it was an eye-opening experience on how to adapt to working with different types of children and how to communicate with them even if they are speech delayed if they're thought delayed if they need extra attention and what have you it's just, it's such a good experience to be around kids, get to know their likes, their dislikes, even if they're 14, 15 months old, they themselves have a personality so big that they don't have to put their needs into words sometimes. It's just almost automatic what you know what they need, like facial expressions and all that. I guess you can call it the tip of the iceberg. I know what mine is. I realized that one of my last years of high school when I did a parenting and child development class followed by a child study class that teaching is something I really wanted to pursue. The first semester parenting and child development you get all of the skills and information you need from preconception until birth and toddler and learning methods and all that but child studies where you really put it into practice. The way my high school ran their child study program was free to the community to uh, moms in my town who had late two to early six-year-olds 
like right before kindergarten who needed schooling or needed a daycare kind of thing but we got the opportunity to teach which I thought was the most wonderful there was so so many girls and because of the age differentiations in the children we separated them into four groups based on color for their age and what have you um, and you got a group of four and you got assigned a day and you made a, three different assignments an art assignment a reading assignment and like a tactile kind of assignment I can't recall what it's called but and because there were three assignments and four groups you all got to pick what group you wanted for which assignment I got the youngest the second youngest and then the oldest and being able to incorporate one ideal lesson to fit the needs of others and adapt who you are as a person and on the fly if things happen during your lesson is something a, a teacher really really needs teaching to me isn't about being perfect because if people were perfect they wouldn't seek out an education because what else would you have there to learn? I'm 19 years old, I don't know everything. And that's why I'm here, I'm here. Getting this opportunity is something that I've wanted for so long. And I'm willing to do anything in my power to make these two and a half years, not including the semester, even though it just started, the best two and a half years of me growing as a person, me growing as an educator, and me becoming the person that I will be for the rest of my life. It's just, it's so nerve wracking. But at the same time, I cannot wait to just indulge in all of the opportunities that this campus has to offer. Not only am I alive, awake, alert, enthusiastic, but I'm ready, willing, and able to do whatever I can to succeed at this school. And I'm so excited to learn. And I just wanted to start now. <laughs> Let the years start now.